Buckle up, it's the Insurance Dudes Podcast. Woo! Boom! <laughs> Jay, We're how you in. doing? Yeah, Jay doing Bregman. Great. Doing great. Really happy to be here. Awesome. Well, Dude, it's great stuck. to have you. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. We can go into some insure tech stuff. Love to hear about the new technologies that are on the horizon here and a great story here. But first, Jay, we're going to dive into Speed Breakers. Ooh. I don't know if you've listened to the show before, but everybody yes. gets to run. Oh, okay. Well, then you may have prepped a little bit. You may have Passed. a under... <laughs> pass, pass, pass. <laughs> All right. So... Time on the clock. Let's go. Jay, have you ever had a mullet? No. First crush? Ooh, Alicia Silverstone. Nice. Ooh, nice. Uh, our most embarrassing thing your mom ever caught you doing? <laughs> too, too dirty for this show. Yes. Perfect. The fastest speed <laughs> ever driven? Uh, 120. Nice. That's, that's respectable. Favorite cereal? So Bob's Red Mill Muesli. Ooh. How many kids... Nice. Have you he made knows. cry? He's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You did yeah. wait for the <laughs> Count Chocula or Count Dracula? Count Dracula. Mm. And the fastest mile. That was my Dracula impression. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> fastest mile. Oh, my fastest mile. Yeah, uh, your fastest. Let's say eight minutes. Okay. Favorite flavor? Nice. Butter pecan. Dogs or cats? Mm. Dogs. That's correct. Tacos or burritos? Burritos. Favorite video game? Command and Conquer. And it still always comes up, Trump or Biden? Pass. You don't have to answer. <laughs> Pass, correct? <laughs> awesome. And I'll toss it over to Jason, and then we'll dive in. Yes, Jay, what was the first concert you ever went to? All the way Grateful, back to Barney. Grateful Dead, Madison Square Garden, 1992. Oh, well, that's very interesting. <laughs> Nice. That is very interesting. What year? That what was it? Greg's favorite band. 1992. So, 92. Uh, Fat Jerry. It was a full band. It was uh, the full experience. I was still in high school, but it was, yeah, it was a great uh, first concert. Who was on keyboard? Don't remember. You remember? No. I think uh, it was Horns. It might have been Hornsby. Does anybody know the keyboardist? Is that? Well, yeah. there's with the dead, there's a whole thing about the keyboardist. It's like that means you're on deck to die if you're one of the keyboardists for the dead. So, <laughs> yeah, very storied uh, thing about that. So why don't you take us back? You've got a great story going all the way back. But how did you end up even becoming part of the insurance industry? Let's dive in there. So my last business, uh, so I've started a couple of businesses in my career. I've been a career entrepreneur. And so my last business was a, a ride sharing company in London uh, called Halo. Uh, oh. And that was eventually sold to, to Daimler. And so one of the things that I noticed while we were building that company was just how differently small businesses were being created uh, through the use of technology, predominantly mobile technology. It wasn't just this idea that you were going to get a Main Street shop and a couple of employees and an annual insurance policy and you're kind of good to go. You were dipping in and out of basically creating something and a lot of times just doing business on your phone. So I thought, well, look, what is going to be the blocker for this future to come true? And one of the things I kept coming into when I talked to people was insurance. And so insurance wasn't changing with the times for this new breed of SMB and this new future of work to actually get realized. And so I teamed up with a friend to figure out how to solve that problem. Awesome. So take us. What problems take us, were you running? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Right. What was some of the problems you were running into with insurance specifically? Well, well, look, Yes. Yeah, so some of the issues are the purchase process. An SMB can be just a single person now. They're basically consumers. They're not used to the way in which small business insurance is presented traditionally, which is, oh, here's something that, that's designed for people who have between five and 50 employees, and it's got 45 questions, and it takes you an hour for the broker to walk you through and, and complete. And then, oh, if you want any changes to it, you got to call up the broker. They'll call up the service center of the insurance company, and you'll go through that entire chain to get a, an answer back. I mean, it doesn't work for the consumer, but it also doesn't work for the broker because they got to do a ton of work to arrange and bind a pretty small policy, you know, three, four hundred bucks. And then after they do that, 
then they've got the customer ringing them every week with a new client, adding an additional insured and all of these things that they should be able to do themselves. But previously to, to Thimble, they couldn't. Crazy. That is a huge problem. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually ran into that a few of my friends starting small businesses and our agency doesn't really specialize in that. So we pass them off to somebody else that does it. And yes, it is time consuming. And anytime that there's changes, that agent is bogged down. So yeah. interesting. Okay. So yeah. So you have a buddy. Was he an insurance agent? He was not. He was far from an insurance agent. Eugene uh, was somebody I met 10 years ago at Halo. He was a technical consultant. He's brilliant. But he had been an entrepreneur too. He had co-founded a business called diapers.com uh, oh. that became hugely successful and was sold to Amazon in 2011. He was the chief technology officer. Uh, so at the time that I got him, he was retired, but potentially interested in doing other things. And we got together talking about this is a really hard problem, both a tech problem and a product problem and a per people problem. And so we got together and started to build a team a couple of years ago. I think it's so interesting to dive into the whole notion and idea of that entrepreneurial part of being an agent and having to come in and actually build the business. A lot of times agents will come in and then want to be the one man band and then it's not scalable, right? They run into a, a lot of, there's the learning curve of trying to learn everything. And then also you can't grow if you're doing everything. So I think it would be relevant to talk about the building, like, you know, from the beginning, how did you put it together? How did you identify? You talked about building the team. What were some of the things that you did when you were doing that? And then take us all the way up to funding, because I think that's a real interesting piece of it too. Well, look, so, I mean, the first thing is we were very disciplined and specific in how we built the business. So we, we first started out with, a, with one single type of profession, which happened to be commercial drone pilots. Because at the time, there were all these drone pilots that were just starting to build their business, but they didn't want to buy annual policies. They wanted to buy per flight policies, and that wasn't available on the market. And drone insurance was a really new thing anyway. So we built the perfect system and app for commercial drone pilots. We did it on an admitted basis. It's approved in all 50 states. And so when we learned how to do that, we learned everything about how to create an admitted insurance product in America, all the people we needed, all the products we needed, all the discipline we needed on the tech side. And so that was sort of the kind of the precursor to Thimble, which was, okay, now let's expand this out to 500 different types of business. And then let's do a thousand and then let's do more and more and more. And let's build something that it can really scale horizontally and vertically. So love it. Love yeah, it. You I, went out. Did, how did you select which specific different businesses to target? You said yeah, 500. Yeah, that, that was more of a uh, not as scientific. I, I happen to be a really avid drone pilot. And so okay. when I talked to the other drone pilots and they said, damn it, I'm, I'm, like I got this great job at, you know, from Fox or from at Sony Pictures, but I can't get it because I don't have the insurance. I knew that there was an opportunity. And so that was some, a problem that we could solve. And it was one that I knew something about. And it was so new that pe people wanted that kind of problem to be solved. They didn't think it was solved already. So you sort of created like an, an event insurance policy, but for the drone pilot. Yeah, you could say that. And actually, it's funny that you do say that because one of the new Thimble products that's not out yet, but is coming out is actual event insurance you can uh -huh. buy from your phone with just like a couple of questions, super easy, super easy to modify, super easy to email the COI to the venue. And this is something that's not just built for direct consumer. It's actually built with agents in mind too. Agents can buy these policies from our platform for the consumer and they can access all the self-service or they can even just send a link to the customer and get full commission when the customer signs up. So we've kind of built this with the agent in mind. Which is awesome because a lot of these policies, especially for captive carriers, you go through a secondary platform and you can get down the rabbit hole trying to put everything together. 
And a lot of times, like what Jason said, it's like, ah, I just send it over to somebody else, right? Because it's just it's way too much work to make 30 bucks, right? It, it doesn't make sense. So to have that in your back pocket, I think it's huge. It's like the gateway drug, right? You can offer this to get folks in the door and then talk to them about their home, their auto and all of the other things that, that we talked Absolutely about. Absolutely right. I mean, we have 7,000 plus agents that are using this system. They're doing it because of the, the speed and flexibility and control that they're getting from it. And they like to sign up the customers because then they have the customers on their books and basically they can prospect them in the future to their liking, but they haven't done a lot of work to be able to do it, not at the expense of other things in their business. We know that everything always comes at the expense of something else. Mm -hmm. So if let's just say my agency signed up with Thimble, I'd be able to send out, it's almost like an affiliate link, right? Where it's like they sign up directly with the company and I would see a portion of the commission. To be continue. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, write 100000 in premium off yes. of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes. It's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will, it's live, and it will show you the process, the entire process. Mm, Super awesome. Mm, I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sign up right now, live.teledudes.com. Live.teledudes.com. That's live.teledudes.com. Hey, Craig, there's a new community that we are starting that I cannot wait to tell everybody about. It is our live texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content, right? Are you kidding me? We get yep. to talk to them? Yeah, which is awesome, but they have to opt in. They have to text us at 520-214-2219. That's 520-214-2219. Nice. I'm Craig, are you going to respond to these texts? I'm going to respond to them for sure, live. I'm into it too. It's going to well, be awesome. And it's, a, it's going to be our new texting community where we're going to get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content, free content and free um, the calculator that you just came up with. Mm. That's right. The calling calculator, sales material. I mean, everything for insurance agents. This is it. It's the best texting community out there for insurance agents. Well, what the heck is that number again? I can't remember it. It's 520-214-2219. That's okay. 520-214-2219. I love it. I'm going to text it right now. 520-214-2219. All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Wait, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh, all right.